On average, software has a lifespan of six to eight years. And with AI, we can see a drastic shrink in the software lifespan, but it's not as bad as you think it is. Software is getting cheaper and cheaper because the cost to produce them is lower with AI. We're not only seeing products to the market faster, we need less resources to get things done. With AI, the cost to replace software gets lower, which could mean that companies are more willing to switch their legacy applications to new one and thereby reducing the lifespan of software. And technical debt has has been a cause of concern for a lot of people building software, but it's possible that in the future, the technical debt is a debt that we just never have to pay because by the time we get to needing them, we can simply just build another tool just as fast to replace them. It gets more exciting as we think about how software will change in the future. We can see how software is distributed as a whole. Right now, we're used to having software being distributed either as a SaaS or on-prem, where people can pay monthly fee to use software or just buy them outright. But in the future, we could see software distributed as an agent. Essentially, everyone or every company will have their own internal agent. And to extend that agent's capabilities, you can purchase skill sets from other providers, much like how MCPs work. So instead of people interacting with a web app, we could have an internal agent that interact with an outside world that we give access to. Alternatively, we could see a full A2A or agent to agent network unfold where an internal agent is given access to communicate with other agents hosted by an external service service. And in this way, companies can essentially pay a different company to have their internal agent communicate with an external agent hosted by a different company, similar to adding them as friends on Facebook or Instagram so that they can request to do certain actions or get a certain job done or collaborate together as agents. This could be a very cool way for software to evolve in a new way where an ecosystem of tools are built around agents, much like how Linux library or Python libraries work and runtime is essentially an agent that has the ability to spool up packages to get the job done. In other words, agents could be acting as an operating system and software is rather built around this new OS. What do you think about how software industry will look like with the embracement of AI and agents?